So we've seen the worst aircraft in LEGO Fortnite, the best landing aircraft in LEGO Fortnite. We've even seen the best Jumbo Squad aircraft in LEGO Fortnite. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking my best aircraft that I've ever built and we're going to be making it even better. If you're going to watch any of my aircraft videos, this is the one you're going to want to watch. So make sure you stick around, see how this sucker is built, and yeah, you're never going to want another aircraft ever again after you build this thing. Okay guys, so it's raining here a little bit, but I'm too excited to get into this thing. If you haven't seen this massive helicopter tower I built, this thing is awesome, man. Definitely better than that little aircraft tower I built in a couple episodes before. But that was obviously in survival, so yeah, that's enough yapping for me. That's the aircraft right there. Ah, you guys enjoyed that little intro I made there. Make sure you hit the like button if you're new around here and want to see more aircraft content. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss another video. But yeah, let's get right into this build here. So first off, we're obviously going to start with these dynamic foundations and place one there. And then we're going to place one around each side and make sort of like a little plus sign like that. And then if you're in survival mode, you're not going to have these pieces here. So I'm going to make it easier for you guys. Get these 4x4x2 four by four by wood foundations and you're going to place one on this black line here. You're going to go one, two, three spaces over like that. So you're three blocks away from that black line there. I'm going to go four of these guys high so one two three and four just like that and we're gonna do the same thing on this side don't worry if your aircraft's making a lot of noise it'll stop once we get it up in the air so one two three and we're gonna place this one four blocks high as well there we go so next up we're gonna get ourselves this plank railing 03 the 16 foot long one we're gonna flip it around so it looks like this and we're gonna go as far as we can to the edge here to where you can't place it anymore and then we're going to place one on this side. We're going to place one on this side. We're going to place one on every side, just so you guys know. So we're going to place them on the exact same spot on every side. Just like that. Now we'll come to the plank railing 02. And we'll just butt it up against each side just like this. We'll do that on every single side. So right there. Come over here. Then last but not least, we do this side. Alright, and then we can come to the left again. We're going to do it all over again with the plank railing 01. So, if you actually snap it right against there, it's a lot easier. So hurry up and flip it, snap it. And that makes building a lot quicker with that snapping function. Oh, I think we placed that guy backwards. Yep, we placed him backwards. So make sure you're... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter... But well, yeah, you don't want it to look backwards. Make sure they're all facing that way. So that looks good. All right, now this is a option. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to place a big, large tire on the outside on each side, just like this. And this is going to prevent you, if you hit any buildings or anything, it's going to kind of bounce off. And it's not going to do any damage to your airship. So for some reason, I'm having trouble placing. I don't think it's lining up right, right here. So if you're having trouble placing those tires, all you got to do is place one balloon in the middle here. Then we'll place one balloon on this side, one balloon on this side, and then we'll place a balloon on this side. And that should lift your aircraft up so that it's like this. And now if we go over here, we should be able to place a tire right here. There we go. And now if we come on this side, we might have to lift it up. Yeah. So probably just a small red balloon, maybe a couple. And we should be able to place a tire here. And perfect. Obviously you can't really do this in survival mode unless you have... It's going to take a while. You can build up. There we go. Jeez, oh man. I'm going to break my airship trying to break these balloons. But obviously that's going to be a little bit harder to do that in survival mode. So if you guys don't want to waste your materials on the tires and it's not really... Uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to do that in survival mode, so... Just do what you guys can. You don't need the tires. They're just a safety precaution when you're coming in a little bit hot to something. And you can't really slow down and you actually bump into it. But it's getting nighttime out. And you guys know the drill. Bam! And with the magic of editing, it is now daytime out. Let's continue this freaking build. Alright guys, so next up, you're going to want to get yourself this Shogun Palace wooden lantern here. We're going to go right 
We're gonna go right in the corner here to where you can't place it anymore. So see it's right here. So go one out and one in. Place it just like that, and we'll do that on each side. So one out, one in. Go on this corner. Make sure it's level. So one out, one in. Then this side, same thing. That gives this aircraft a little bit of lighting. Very optional, but I like the look of it. Very nice. So now you're gonna get either a medium chest or small chest, whatever you can afford here. And we'll just tuck him right in the corner right there. And same thing on that side. Then comb over here. And honestly, you guys, you can put whatever you want here. But I'm just going to put chests here for the time being just to fill this space up. Next up, you can get yourself a bed. And we'll place it right in front of these chests just like this. And once again, you don't need to put these beds here. That's just optional. So put whatever you want there. Now next up, you're going to want to get yourself a little palatial coffee table right here. You're going to want to try and center it up. You can kind of just eyeball it and center it up. And right from this black line here, right in the middle, we'll go one, two, three spaces over. So it's going to look something like that. It's about one block over from the black line there. And then we'll get a activation switch, and we're going to place it right in the center of that table, just like that. And then we can go to the chair section and get whatever chair you want. I am going to pick this cool little lounge chair right here. I think this thing looks absolutely amazing. We're going to go... From this black line, we'll go one, two, three, four spaces forward. That way, when you're sitting down in the seat, you can activate your switch, and you can just look around at your aircraft while you're flying. This is going to help you out with not flying off your aircraft. I know it's a pretty rare thing to happen with this aircraft. It still has not happened to me yet. Honestly, I just like sitting down in the aircraft. I think it's pretty cool that you can sit down and watch yourself fly. But anyways, I'm just yapping on. Next up... Uh, we can pretty much start adding the balloons and get this thing up in the air. So what you're going to want to do is place one in this corner. Go over to this opposite corner right here. Place one like that. And you can come in this corner right here. Make sure they're all kind of opposite corners so they're level when it first lifts off. And then place one guy right there. And now if you want to put tires on the bottom, this is where you're going to have to place balloons and break them. So I'll show you guys, but if not, skip to the... This time on the screen here, if you don't want to put tires on the bottom of your aircraft. So place one in the corner here, one in this corner. And we're just going to place one in every corner, just so you guys know. So one there, one there, one in this corner, and then one in this corner. And that should lift it up just enough for you to place tires. And if it's doing this wonky thing here, I don't know why it's doing this. Obviously, just place one more balloon on this side. And it should lift it up just enough to where you can go under here and place your wheels. So we'll go one here. Don't worry, if you think your aircraft's flying away on you, trust me, once you place these wheels down, it'll come back down on you. So, kind of try to be fast, otherwise it will come down too fast and you won't be able to place the rest of the wheels. So, put one, one there, it doesn't really matter where they are, just put them all in the corners there, and perfect. Just like I said, it's going to fall back down. Now we can hop back up here, we'll go around, break all these balloons here, don't worry. Now after the update, you get all your materials back, so we're not wasting materials here. Just make sure to pick up all of them because that silk thread is very precious, man. All right. Now, with that being said, make sure you got the materials to build yourself enough thrusters in case you do end up breaking them and they do and your materials do fly away on you. Make sure you have enough for some extra balloons. Trust me, guys. Fill these chests up with wooden rods, blast powder, planks, cords, silk fabric, and torches because you're going to need them. You will always i promise you you will always lose extra materials when you go to break them because sometimes this game is very glitchy and buggy but yeah let's place the rest of these balloons on the corners here and if you are building it on the ground you honestly might not need this many balloons but i like to be really high up in the air so we got two big balloons on each corner which totals to eight big balloons and that gets you pretty much high enough to go over almost every mountain there's my other aircraft over there but yeah, as you can see, that mountain, we might not make it over. We might need to add two more big balloons on top just like this. So, 10 big balloons total if you literally want to go over every single mountain in the game. I'm having trouble seeing where to place this. There we go. So yeah, like I said, 10 big balloons and you will get over pretty much every mountain in the game. Even them ice mountains over there. We can probably just scape the top of that. If not, you can always add thrusters on the bottom of this. And hit the switch and you will go higher. But that's uh, something I don't really like doing. Because it just makes it harder to land your aircraft. 
But anyways, now we can get our thrusters on here and we can actually take off. So, obviously, to turn this thing, you can use whichever side. If you want to use this as the going that way and this as the turning side, just flip your chair around and the switch around, you can do that. But I'm going to use this side for the turning functionality. So all you're going to want to do is place a large thruster right there. And let's say you want to turn towards that big mountain right there, right? All you got to do is hit the switch here and your aircraft will rotate. And once you're lined up with that mountain there, we'll turn it off. And we're almost there, right there. So now once you're lined up, all you got to do is break this. You should get every material back. Sometimes you might not. It just depends if the game's liking you that day or not. But anyways, oh, I thought I just jumped off. <laughs> place this thruster. If you want to go really fast and want three large thrusters, place this thruster as far down as you can. Then we'll go up just to where we can place the next thruster. Man, it's so complicated. Right there. And then we can place one more on top. Just barely. It's just hanging on there. So we got three thrusters. That one's literally on there by the skin of its teeth. Anyways, now we can sit in our chair and we can head towards that mountain. Hopefully we won't bang into it. Sit down and enjoy the ride, guys. Man, this is awesome. I am so glad Epic added sitting into this game. This definitely changes the whole aspect of aircrafts for sure. Because this means you no longer are going to have the chance of just randomly flying off your aircraft. But yeah, just like that. Normally, you see that happen, you would have probably just flew off that aircraft. But since you were sitting in the seat, all it did was knock me out of the seat and we're still good to go. So it's kind of like a nice little safety feature that you get. And I know every brand new aircraft that you just built is going to do that to you. I don't care how good you think your aircraft is. That is just going to happen to you. It always happens. You heard that all that noise it was making in the beginning there when we first lifted off. Now it's not making any noises, so now we're good to roll. That's not going to happen to us again, most likely. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get out of your chair, just press the B button and you'll get out of the chair. We can turn this way if we want to. And yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty simple. Obviously, if you want to land, let's break some balloons here. You need to break four balloons. So we'll break four on each, we'll break the two on each side. And that'll be just enough to get you low enough to land. I was like, why ain't it landing? Then I remembered I placed two big balloons up here. So you're going to need to break these as well. I was like, I thought four balloons let me land last time. Completely forgot I placed these up here. So we'll break these guys. We'll break this last one here if I can. And the aircraft should come down for a very easy landing. And there we go. Almost right on top of the wolf there. And that's, guys, it's as simple as that. All you want to do if you want to take off, place a balloon right here. Hopefully this wolf doesn't eat us. And then we're going to place a balloon right here. And that's it. We're back up in the air. And honestly, those are the only balloons you need if you don't want to go very high. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one.